Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, the goal of my YouTube channel is to make walk cooking easier for you. Uh, one of the most frequent questions people ask me is that how should I clean up the walk? And until recently, I really do not have a good answer. Uh, in the past, I generally just use a brush to remove food particles from the walk. I am always afraid to scrub the wok because I am concerned about removing the seasoning. Uh, the most common recommendation from many sources is that do not use soap or a, a tough sponge to scrub the wok uh, because it is likely for you to remove the seasoning that it took so much effort to accumulate. Uh, recently, I developed a new cleaning method. Uh, now my old woks look as good as the new woks. Uh, in addition, not only my new cleaning methods uh, protect the seasoning from being uh, cleaned away, but also it maintains a oil so that the wok will be protected against rust. Uh, combining with my new spot seasoning method, uh, the wok maintains its non-stick property as shown in frying an egg. Uh, my cleaning method is actually very simple and the key is the use of a green uh, scrub sponge and a scrub pad. Uh, I also wear a disposable glove on my uh, scrubbing hand and I will explain why later. Uh, I'm going to explain my cleaning process uh, by explaining making a flat bread uh, in my 14-inch carbon steel wok. Uh, notice that I start with a shiny wok. And as the process uh, continues in making the bread, uh, the wok becomes more grimy. Uh, I first clean the wok with a Pamara brush, but any kitchen brush will do. Uh, the brush is good to remove food particles, but it does not touch the food stains on the wok. I next use the scrub sponge um, to scrub the wok for about 60 seconds to remove the stain. Uh, I apply some elbow grease. Uh, the result was pretty good. Most of the stains uh, was removed. Uh, I could have stopped at this step, but I like my wok look uh, spotless and pristine. Uh, the final cleaning step is to scrub the wok with a scrub pad. Again, with a little bit elbow grease, uh, it gives the shine back to the wok uh, or restore it to its original state. Uh, I have seven different woks in my kitchen. Uh, please don't ask my wife why I have so many woks. Uh, but now they're all shiny and beautiful. They have no rust and ready to be used at any time. Uh, through my research and experimentation, I learned there are two kinds of cleaning of a wok. That is what is known as physical cleaning and chemical cleaning. Uh, physical cleaning removes the char, uh, which are carbons of the food particles that burned onto the surface of the wok. A chemical cleaning uh, removes the oil from the crevice of the metal that protect the metal from air and water. Uh, once it is removed, uh, the metal will start to rust almost immediately. I did an experiment by adding vinegar uh, to the wok that removed the oil from the metal and almost within minutes, the metal start to rust. A physical uh, scrubbing actually redistribute the oil uh, on the surface of the wok. Now, if I did not wear a glove on my scrubbing hand, my hand will be tinted with char. Uh, this is the reason why the wok takes on a shine, uh, which is an in indication that the wok is well seasoned. Uh, this cleaning method takes a few extra minutes, but the result is well worth it. It gives the wok an aesthetic as well a functional uh, outcome. Uh, give it a try when you have a chance. I'm interested to hear your experience. Uh, take care. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. And please stay safe.